from Atta. Florida. And your little dog, Mia, can I just say, <laughs> she can be on my Twitter page or my Facebook page anytime. She's the cutie patootie. <laughs> Is she a little Shih Tzu? No, she's half she's, Cavalier King Charles, half okay. Poodle. All she's the, darling. All the cutie addicts wanted her. She's Because I posted that Lily picture. Darling. Thank a you. little black and white cutie furry fluffy. All right, so. Her there, mommy, she there she is. There she was in that in that shot. Uh, so her mommy's a very smart lady. This is Roxanne De Palma, who brings us fabulous things for our home and garden. And one of, uh, along with the fireman's hose nozzle, one of her most popular items ever is this broom. It's the Coconut Palms Garden Broom, customer top rated. This is going to be the last day at the featured price. price, and the featured price is twenty two dollars and twelve cents. So let me just say, how much do you sell this for at the garden shows? They're worth every penny. And at 40 something, right? Well, it, uh, between 30 and $40. Yes, so I know, because I've seen them there, and I'm like, ah, I got one a lot cheaper than you people. Um, so we have it for you in the red, we have it in the natural, which is the brown, and mm -hmm. then we also have it for you, I think, green in blue, and we have green back? Uh, you have green back. Oh, here's the hand. green. Okay, so here they all are right here, everybody. So blue, natural, red, and green. Now red completely sold out last summer. It's back in stock just today. So please call us and tell us if you're using one of these, we'd love to hear from you. Why is this broom so different than one that's made out of straw or nylon or any of those other things? Or corn. Well, yeah. first of all, um, it has elasticity because it's made from mm -hmm. the coconut tree. And they're mm -hmm. all handcrafted, so each and every one is handmade, guys. This part here is actually made from the frond, that very heavy, thick part of the coconut palm. Mm -hmm. This is made from the husk or the nut of the coconut. Okay. And then our handle, Carolyn, is made from poplar. Why? Because Roxanne doesn't like to wear garden gloves. Mm -hmm. And I hate getting <laughs> splinters, okay? So the best part about this broom, it's impervious to any weather condition. So you can use this on your wet grass right. clippings. You know, the things you can't blow with the, uh, with the, uh, bl uh, the blower. blower. Right. Your wet leaves, uh -huh. your concrete, your sidewalks, right. your driveways. Um, you have a goose pond that you use I do, in. and I use it to sweep. You know what I just did with this? I swept the mulch out of the river rock that ran in there the last time we had a big rainstorm. Now tell me, how else am I going to get mulch out of river rock that's soggy? Well, it's not it's, coming out with a blower, and I'm not going to pick it out by hand. No, and how about your moss, your molds, your mildew, mm -hmm. and your bird seed, Carolyn? Right. Um, you know, like, unlike these kind of brooms, Carolyn, let's just put one right out here in oh, front of yeah. everybody. Well, you know, look, we've all bought these because sometimes that's all there was available. And they lose their shape, kind of like I have. And they, yeah, and they really miss half the stuff that you're trying to sweep. Do you see this? Yeah. See the flexibility? It will never ever lose its shape. You're going to leave this out on your front porch because Carolyn, the more you see it, the more you're going to use it. Right. You can even skim your pool with it. All right. Here we go. This is the big stuff. Yeah. Those front doormats. I have one from Frank Day. It cost me a hundred bucks. Well, right? yeah. Well, the never clean mats them. are nice, but everything sticks to them, especially pet hair, dog hair, from cat little hair. doggy paws, and then it gets full of hair and leaves and Sand, stuff. Sand, mud, you name it. Okay. How about all the moss and mold and mildew? Yep. That has taken and sweep it out. Built up. Look at this. Uh, if you don't have this broom, you're down on your hands and knees picking it out with some kind of a garden tool. Uh-huh. Look at this, Carolyn. This is the best preventer of having to get down and bend over. I love this broom. All right. How about the pine needles? Your yep. father is the one that testimonies to the pine My needles. My parents right? live in North Carolina, and they have pine needles in everything. It's amazing. Now, if you just got done using the Sunjo clipper, mm -hmm. um, doing all your boxwoods that you've worked so hard with, you can actually take and use this right up on top of your mulch. Your mulch is going to stay where it is. Yeah. You can even spread your mulch with this. Yeah. And you're going to be well, able to get and all you know the what debris. You're not showing, and did you hear me say this when we were selling that with Sean? No. You, you know, often when you trim, all those uh, clippings are on top of the shrubs. Do this instead of trying to reach over there on top of that boxwood and grab that one empty branch. Do this, knock them on the ground, sweep them over here to the trash can, get a little dust bin, and dump them in. It's the easiest way to clean up your garden. Philip Watson loves it for his rose bushes. Yeah. Okay, how about the sedum? 
that you all have growing now. It's mm -hmm. gone haywire. Again, another QVC addict posted their seed on the other day. She says, Roxanne, love my coconut garden broom because it doesn't hurt my sedum and I can actually get all yeah. the debris out right. of my sedum without harming my sedum because you know yeah. that stuff is like These bricks. brooms are amazing because they're stiff enough that they actually can target certain things that you want to pick out of things like there's the gravel. See, but I'm getting the mulch out of my gravel You're around my goose mulch. pond. And it's the littlest piece. You can mm -hmm. even take and poke it with yeah, it. Yeah, that's right. All right, Carolyn, we're going to go back to the dog hair. The oh, pet yeah. Hair. The mats again. Yeah. Take your garden broom this time, and you're going to go side to side. Mm -hmm. And look at this. Gets all the doggy fur off the rug. Hello. Look I at love the it. Dust. Can you see the dust? Yeah. The you know, I kind of use this. Just can I just say I use this inside sometimes on rugs with pet hair? Absolutely. Before you I can. vacuum, I just loosen everything up. You know, this broom is so amazing. And what we can't show you here on the garden set right now is that it's great in the winter for uh, sweeping snow off of your sidewalks and things like that. I absolutely love this. I use it year round. It's like something will be your best friend in the fall when all the leaves are falling down. Carolyn, you know, I know that. I know that y'all don't want to hear it, but the snow comes, you want one of these in the front, you want one in the back. Right. If you have one of these indoor outdoor rugs from Barb King or Jeff Myers, you are going to love this broom yep. for that purpose alone. Look how beautiful this rug I know. looks. And if your rug needs to be sprayed with a hose underneath, or maybe you need to get your pressure washer out to spray off the furniture, get all the debris and stuff off first really quickly with this broom. You know, Carolyn, what I love most of all is it's a broom that acts like a rake. Uh -huh. You're going to use this in any venue, right. whether it's your bark, whether it's getting those cobwebs up underneath right. your eaves. Um, my husband, Bob, has even cleaned out the gutters with this broom. Wow. It's a great gift. There's the snow. Put one away for Christmas. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely amazing. How do you clean it? with your fireman's hose nozzle, wash it off. And by Water the way, won't it's, hurt it's it. a really nice um, front door, front porch decor item. Look so at just leave it standing out there. Leave it standing out there. You, you wouldn't even... do that with a broom from the grocery store. Oh, heck no. <laughs> Absolutely not. But because it's not nice really pretty. Is. I know. You know. I love it. We had some really big rains here last week. Yeah. And you know how your dirt and your bark kind of comes out yeah, of your garden area? Carolyn, tidy take up. your coconut garden broom and tidy it up uh -huh. with your broom. Truly, this is something that everybody needs and this price amazing. Okay, so you guys, it's $22. It would be at least $10 more than that at Roxanne's uh, stand at the garden shows probably more than that. And it's worth it, Carolyn. So it's worth every penny. Uh, people buy it for that price. You can get yours for $22.12, but today's the last day because the featured price is going away at the end of the day today. So the red is very popular. Oh, it's it sold it? out the last time it was on. We've got it back. There's the natural, there's your blue, and then I'm holding the green, which is right here. The green is beautiful as well. Isn't that pretty? Uh, and all these match back to Barb King's rugs yeah. and Jeff's rugs You've as well. You've done such a great job with your, I love there's, I can name five of your products that are on my must have list. Oh, thank this you. This is definitely one of them. So come on in, grab your Ultimate Innovations Coconut Broom at $22 and change wow. for the very last chance. Top rated and we just got them back in stock. It looks like the red's gonna be gone again pretty soon. So stay in the ordering process. Thank you, are you back thank anymore today? Uh, tonight Hi, Q2. Okay. Yeah, but Do you know what time? Uh, I think it's a 7 p.m. show. Okay, give me a smooch. I will. She's such a cutie. I love uh, you. All right, love you. All right, so uh, coming up at 11 o'clock, we have Gary Gobin. And uh, that's Allie standing with him, who is one of his assistants in the design department for Denim and Company. And that's the t-shirt that I'm wearing. It's done in a really soft cotton rayon spandex blend. So it's stretchy and bouncy and really good looking. And that is my sneak peek. So that's coming up later in Denim and Company at 11 o'clock. But we have one more thing to show you, and it's a fabulous fan from Dyson. We'll go meet Susie in just a second. Stay with us. Look and feel good with Denim and Company. Classic fashionable pieces that help build your everyday wardrobe for any occasion. Live your life in Denim and Company. Tuesdays at 11 a.m. Eastern on QVC. 
Finding your local channels for QVC2 and Beauty IQ is as easy as one, two, three. Step one, go to QVC.com and click on the Shop QVC TV dropdown and choose Program Guide. Step two, type in your zip code at the bottom of the Program Guide. Step three, pick the channel you want to watch and we'll give you a list of providers with your local channels. It's that easy. It's Founders Day. Celebrate with select low sale prices and other great deals on air and online. Today on QVC and QVC2.